This broadcast will start in 30 seconds. This broadcast will start in 15 seconds. This broadcast will start in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The Voice of Stockton. For more information on The Voice of Stockton, go to thevoiceofstockton.org. The views and opinions expressed in the following program do not necessarily reflect those of KXVS, The Voice of Stockton, or its parents, affiliates, management, and staff. KXVS, the voice of Stockton, proudly presents Women in Business with your host, Chef Tobias Cooks. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good morning. 209 Central Valley. How is everyone doing? How is your week coming along? We are here with the voice of Stockton.org with Chef Tobias Cooks. We are talking women in business today. Yes, I am so excited. Minus the heat. Minus the heat, right? Right. It's absolutely yeah. hot outside. Minus the heat. Yes. <laughs> but other than that, we are here. We are ready to talk. I am so excited about this conversation that we are about to have women in business here with the voice of Stockton with Chef Tobias Cooks. You can find me on Chef Tobias Cooks Facebook page, Instagram page, YouTube page, along that you can watch this live with us. Please join us at uh, the voice of Stockton.org on Facebook, YouTube. All right, so let's get into it right now. My very first guest, Women in Biz Business, here in the Central Valley. Introduce yourself. I am Katrina Major, and I am with uh, Carrington Real Estate Services. I'm a realtor, and um, I'm here to service. Um, can you hear? Our, our client, hear. I can't hear. Hmm. It's live, T. It's live, y'all. Yes, um, I believe I can hear you. I can hear you fairly. All right, you got it. Okay. Yeah. So, so here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're good to go. Okay, okay, cool. All right. um, so I am uh, with uh, Carrington Real Estate Services, and, and it is my uh, goal to assist everyone in, as being a first-time home buyer. How can they find you? They can find me on um, Facebook at KM1 Real Estate, and then also on Twitter at KMajor3999. One. All right. Is this, is it's this loose. good for you? Mm -hmm. it's, it's loose. loose. That's okay, better. that's better. All right. Okay, okay, so go ahead, get comfortable. Okay, thank you for coming on, Katrina. Thank I you appreciate for inviting you. Me. Yes. So everyone, you can follow uh, Katrina on her Facebook page along with her Twitter, her Twitter page, and you could check out her businesses and what she does and the services she's offered as well. But today, I invited her to come here to talk about something that's a little bit different because the show is about women in business, the base of the show is to encourage to give encouragement to women in business the struggles that we go through and the different things that goes on all right so miss katrina you are look you are originally from i'm originally from san francisco born mm -hmm. and raised um was uh, raised over in daly city then my mom decided to move us to san jose yes. um, once i had graduated from high school uh, of course i wanted to be back in san francisco so mm -hmm. moved to san francisco uh, back to San Francisco, got married, had my children, and then divorced. Um, after and my your children's name, we got to mention the kids. We have to mention the kids. <laughs> my children's <laughs> name are uh, Lorenzo Kale Jr., mm -hmm. uh, Nathaniel uh, Kale, and Lucretia Kale. And you have to mention your mom's name as well. My mom's <laughs> name is Alpha Mathis. She has passed away. Yes. She passed away in 2009. Mm -hmm. But of course, she left a great imprint from. 
her. All right. See, it's always important. We have to recognize and shout out to our family. Yes. <laughs> so you moved back to San Francisco at that point? Yeah, mm-hmm. I moved back to San Francisco after graduating. I should have went to college, but of course, mm-hmm. um, not liking San Jose and yes. what it had to offer. Mm-hmm. Um, I decided to go back to San Francisco. So okay. I wanted to uh, actually be what we call in the streets, you know, mm-hmm. because my family is from Hunter's Point, the mm-hmm. project. So mm-hmm. even though my mom raised us, bought a house in Daly City, my grandmother mm-hmm. actually took care of us while they worked, yes. which was in the project. So yes. I thought I was missing something, you know. Mm-hmm. I thought they were had more privileges than I did, mm-hmm. not realizing that the structure that I was getting was the best thing for me, yes. right? So I thought I was missing something. So I wanted to be in the mix. Mm-hmm. So when I had the opportunity after graduating, instead of going to college, I decided to go back to San Francisco. Yes. Ended up uh, getting married mm-hmm. and um, having my three children in my six-year marriage. Mm-hmm. And then from there, I decided to take my children back to San Jose Mm -hmm. I met my second husband Mm -hmm. and of course he helped me raise my children and then we moved here to Stockton in 99 Mm -hmm. um, for affordability because of the fact is that we wanted something nice compared to what is being offered for the price range in the Bay Area. Yes. Right? So mm-hmm. we made that sacrifice to come out this way mm-hmm. so that we could give our children a better life. Yes. Yeah. I understand. So I grew up partly in Oakland as well, mm-hmm. right next door to San Francisco. Absolutely. <laughs> I used to ride my bikes over to San Francisco. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, girl. Oh, yes, you was doing honey. some things. Yes. Okay. That's how I discovered the cannoli. Yes. <laughs> I used to get in trouble all the time. I used to ride my bike from uh, 35th mm-hmm. and MacArthur Arthur. to Alameda. Ooh. Remember High yes. Street? You go high on the bridge and the bridge into the Alameda. And yes. then we used to ride it down downtown. West Oakland, mm-hmm. and we would get on the bridge. This is when you could get on the bridge, right? Because back then, you, then and right. we used to ride our bikes across the bridge. bridge. And then sometimes, depending on if we had the strength, we'll go, we'll cut down to the pier. Mm-hmm. We'll ride along the pier, and then we'll jump on to the uh, Golden Gate Bridge, bridge and, then and we'll it. end over right. at Sausalita. And then sometimes we'll sit there and wonder how we was gonna get back okay, home. Okay, <laughs> because you were doing a lot, but you know, back in those days. And this was like 10 and 12 years old mm-hmm. doing this mm-hmm. yes I understand. on the bike yes i do yes. i had started uh, mm-hmm. because i was considered to be a latch key when my parents mm-hmm. divorced right yes. so my mom had to teach me at the mm-hmm. age of six to catch the bus mm-hmm. from daily city to san francisco to get yes. to my grandmother's house right yes. so i do understand and then mm-hmm. you know times were different yes. than they are now yes. so we could go out and explore yes. and not have a problem long yes. as we got home at a specific time so yes. exactly what you're saying you know, mm-hmm. we would go down to uh, the pier. Mm-hmm. We go out to the uh, Golden mm-hmm. Gate Park. Mm-hmm. We would walk over mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. we would walk over and um, uh, go across the bridge over mm-hmm. into Sausalito. We do mm-hmm. all those things, and that's like you say, mm-hmm. we try to figure out how we get back. But yes. yeah, yeah, you figure out how you get back. So that's interesting. Uh, you and I, and I'm sure that your grandmother was from the. She was from San Francisco. She was from San Francisco. Well, actually, we're from. Uh, Jacksonville, Florida. See, that's where I'm trying to get to. <laughs> We're from Jacksonville, I, I could Florida. I pick up a little bit of that Southern. <laughs> but you I, know what? Southern influence. Everyone has always told me yes. that I had an accent, mm-hmm. you know, and they said it most likely it sounded from New York, mm-hmm. which my mother and my grandmother them were staying in New York. Mm-hmm. My, that's where my grandmother got my mother. Oh, yeah. And, um... I don't know. And I did, hadn't even met yeah. them until later on in life. So, yeah. so it was that whole vibe mm-hmm. that, yeah, great. Okay, Absolutely. so uh, you did mention, I want to go back to when you were saying that instead of going to college, the street life was calling. Oh, yeah. And um, if those of you don't know about the sh- street life, <laughs> or burn a flag, <laughs> um, as women... Um, a lot of us, we do have children, we get married, we kind of get distracted a mm-hmm. little bit. Absolutely. Can you talk a little bit about that particular era in your life? Mm-hmm. That was an experience, let's mm-hmm. put it like that. Yes. You know, um, when I was growing up in um, San Francisco, mm-hmm. by me living in Daly City, I was always told that I didn't belong mm-hmm. being in the projects in Hunters Point mm-hmm. because they said I sounded too proper. Mm-hmm. You know, I was uh, 
uh, didn't need to be there because mm-hmm. they felt that I was rich. Well, mm-hmm. I wasn't rich. My mother was just working and decided to come out of the projects to make mm-hmm. a better life for us. Yes. You yes. know, mm-hmm. and I couldn't understand that. But mm-hmm. the things that I had seen, I wanted to be a part of because I felt that they were able to do anything mm-hmm. that they wanted to do. They were... Um, It just seemed like it was the life, Mm -hmm. you know. It wasn't until I got into the life Mm -hmm. that I really realized what I was into. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. And um, I think that being protected, a lot of times we don't understand Mm -hmm. until we either experience it, Mm -hmm. you know. So by me wanting to fit in Mm -hmm. and be a part of, Mm -hmm. ended me down that road of what we could say destruction. Yes. You know. Yes. And um, I didn't realize, and thank God, it only took a few years. Mm -hmm. And that was, you know, getting married, Mm -hmm. children, and Mm -hmm. then divorce. Mm -hmm. Realizing that now I have my children to think about, and it's Mm -hmm. not just me. Yes. Right? So I had to do a few things, and Mm -hmm. I had to straighten up a few things Mm -hmm. in order to be a good mom to my children. And I made Mm -hmm. the decision at that point, too, as well, to leave. Mm -hmm. You know, and I moved back down to San Jose with my children. But you're talking about I went through that whole spree of drugs Mm -hmm. and, you know, just being a part of the streets. Mm Mm-hmm. So I am mm-hmm. grateful, yes. you know, that mm-hmm. uh, I am here today and mm-hmm. I am an example. Mm-hmm. But that's why I do a partly mm-hmm. what I do. Yes. And I think that that adds to uh, our characters, mm-hmm. who we are, especially being survivors. Absolutely. Um, people don't understand unless you live that life that when you're able to make it over consciously. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's a conscious one. Yes. As, as, especially as women um, having children, um, being married, going through those things such as divorce, mm-hmm. uh, and then realizing, hey, we have to survive for our kids. Um, a lot of times, as women, it puts us in situations where we have to do what we have to do Absolutely. to take care of our kids. Absolutely. But the, the great thing about it and what I love so much about your story is not only that you're a survivor, but you're an overcomer. I think so. You yes. know, I, I never thought about mm-hmm. it that way. It was but you are. something, yes. You are. Absolutely. You it are. Was and you're something very, that I and just your story is forward. very inspirational Thank as you. well. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I used to never really tell my story, mm-hmm. you know, um, until people started to ask me my, about my background, mm-hmm. you know. Then when I started telling my story, I found out that it was helpful mm-hmm. to other women. Mm-hmm. So, um, and what we go through mm-hmm. throughout in life. So um, I just started to I only tell it when it really is needed. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. And um, a lot of times we women decide that no one understands us. That was mm-hmm. the biggest thing, you know, mm-hmm. no mm-hmm. one understands us. And and I feel that unless we speak about it, mm-hmm. no one ever knows. Mm-hmm. Right. So I started to make a point of talking to women to let them know that I'm feeling and I know what they're going through yes. because I've been through it. If I haven't been through it, then we have someone that has been through mm-hmm. it, right? So, it, and I think that, you know, that's where the empathy opposed to sympathy, mm-hmm. you know, empathy is because you haven't gone through it, yes. but sympathy is when you have gone through it, yes. right? Yes. So no one can ever understand no one's situation unless you walk through their shoes. Yes. That's the biggest one for me. Yes, and I think it's also important with your story is that, um, like me, because I I know you, uh, when I see you today and I see the classiness about you, I see the elegance about you, I see how you carry yourself, I see how you have the mother and the the nurturing spirit, Mm -hmm. and I see how you nurture other women and how you take care of them and how you take time um, to speak with them. Um, So for me personally, I said, wow, for her to now be at this position in her life where she's a businesswoman, she's, you're an entrepreneur, you're running your own business, and you have great influential on the community, I'm like, wow, I have to get this story. This is a story that people need to understand because uh, a lot of times us women, we do get to the place where we don't think that we're as valued as much. Mm-hmm. Um, so for you making that point, what was it like then making that transition to, hey, I can become an entrepreneur. I could do these things as well. Well, it started off as a dream. You mm-hmm. know how, and I, I'm a firm believer in dreaming. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of people feel that dreaming is irrelevant, but it's not in order to achieve some of the goals and, that we want to. Mm-hmm. It starts off with a dream. Things that we see ourselves or want to see ourselves to be. 
like, mm-hmm. right? And so, but it also takes a plan. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of times, um, you know, everyone wants something instantaneously. It doesn't happen that way. Mm-hmm. And it takes work. Yes. You know, and I think that's the, the biggest one that a lot of people are not willing to do. Where's <laughs> uh, <laughs> my ice water? <laughs> okay, so... Um, but it really does. It takes work yes. in order to um, um, get where you want to be. Mm-hmm. And also, I've been told that I see things in color. Mm-hmm. You know, I see things because I want to see the goodness in everyone. Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. So I don't care where you're at, where you've been, because mm-hmm. I feel that there should be no judgment. Mm-hmm. If I was judged when I was doing what I was doing, mm-hmm. I wouldn't be here today. <laughs> I wouldn't have had the people to help mm-hmm. me mm-hmm. be able to achieve where I'm at today. Mm-hmm. So that is part of my give back because people put into me mm-hmm. so I want to put into other people to let you know that it, everything is possible that mm-hmm. was one thing that my mother ever told me was everything is possible you just have to figure it out mm-hmm. right and you have to be willing to work at it mm-hmm. for whatever it is mm-hmm. but as long as you have dreams and you keep on dreaming those dreams will come true yes as long as you work toward them all right I, so we're excited to be here I am too. with you in Thank the you. central I'm valley excited to be with you too. you came in 99 i came in 2003 yes yes and even though we're going through this extremely hot wave i, I still love stockton i still I like too. driving on an open road <laughs> yep. well you know for me it going took to a while parks. it took a while yes. you know mm-hmm. i did everything out of stockton mm-hmm. you know um and I had to realize that, you know, this is my community. Yes. I've had things that have happened mm-hmm. in the last 10 years mm-hmm. that have made me to relook mm-hmm. at me yes. as an individual mm-hmm. and to change some things. And one of those things were is that my community is here. Mm-hmm. So I need to be a part of it and involved and yes. let people experience me and mm-hmm. what I have to offer to mm-hmm. them. Yes, yes, I love it. All right. And so some of the things you've done with, I've been to your uh, workshop at the uh, NWACP. Mm -hmm. Could you tell us a little bit about that and your work with them? Um, I became, well, let's go back some, Mm -hmm. because when I first decided, I went through a lot of trials and tribulations. Mm -hmm. So back in 2014, I decided that I was going to pursue my business that had been sitting there for over 10 years. And that's what we talk about, a dream. Mm -hmm. You know, my dream was to be independent uh, as a realtor and also as as a motivational speaker to yes. inspire women. Mm-hmm. And so um, that never flourished. Mm-hmm. You know, when I started in new, uh, in real estate and new home sales, you know, I was making so much money, I didn't think about it. Mm-hmm. You know, when the market crashed, I had to go get a job. So that made me have to go back to the Bay Area mm-hmm. to work. And I acquired a job through uh, a company that was contracted with HUD, mm-hmm. which is housing and Urban Development. Mm-hmm. So I was a uh, compliance officer mm-hmm. for Section 8 properties. Okay. So mm-hmm. I would go in to make sure that, you know, individuals living in decent mm-hmm. and sanitary conditions, mm-hmm. you know, that they weren't being overcharged in their rents mm-hmm. and things like that nature mm-hmm. and then I would have to write a report to the government did that for about six years so I traveled between the Bay Area and uh, Sacramento up to the Oregon border yes. so um, of course you know I've had a couple of incidents you know whereas I flipped my truck off of I-5 mm-hmm. and you know that makes you relook at mm-hmm. things I had an accident on I-5 as well mm-hmm. and it was it was <laughs> it's not the good thing because Thank I you. had when I'm, we're over to the curve and you responsible for thousands of people going slow and I had people flipping me off and mm-hmm. one lady threw a cup of coffee at me <laughs> it was it was <laughs> No, I flipped my truck up off of I-5 oh, no. and took Sorry, two other vehicles yeah. with me. Oh, See, so mm-hmm. mine was a life changing yes. where I yes. was lucky to be here. Yes. And so with that again, that was mm-hmm. a, a change, mm-hmm. you know, something that made me look at my life. Yes. You know, and mm-hmm. became that a lot of things that, you know, that are not important mm-hmm. are not important. Right. Mm -hmm. So I just started to change in in the way that I seen things. And from that and with a lot of other personal things that were going on, you're talking about somebody being broken. Mm -hmm. I was broken. And a lot of times um, women, because we have so many roles to play that we are not knowing when our breaking point is. Mm-hmm. until it happens but then it's too late mm-hmm. so that's what happened to me and I had to start picking up the pieces mm-hmm. right and uh, that was when I decided that it was time for me to start doing in my own community mm-hmm. and to help and I had to go and uh, 
I spoke to uh, a woman, and you know, it was two things that after that accident had happened and a change in my life. And I had asked God to help me to be able to uh, go to my next level and then also to have someone or a woman to help me mm -hmm. to be able to make these things possible mm -hmm. that could understand. And there was no one here. My mom passed away in 09. Yes. I really didn't have uh, close, close friends that could understand because sometimes your friends that are close to you mm -hmm. don't understand no. what you're going through. Mm -hmm. So even though they think that they're being supportive, mm -hmm. they're not. Yes. Right? They can and only do what they can do. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So I had uh, started, you know, searching uh, the internet or the web or whatever you mm -hmm. want to call this, uh, Facebook. And I start looking I at groups. It, I call it social dimension. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I started looking, you know, for women's groups. Mm -hmm. And I came across this group called Wealthy Sisters Network. Mm -hmm. And... I listened to her for a while, but she was talking to me. You know how sometimes, you know how, like, when you go to church mm -hmm. and you swear that the, the, mm -hmm. the pastor is talking to you about what mm -hmm. he's saying? Mm -hmm. That was the same thing that she was doing. Yes. So I finally reached out to her mm -hmm. and um, told her where I was at, you know, what was going on with me, mm -hmm. and she helped me. Mm -hmm. I actually went to Texas to uh, meet her okay. and uh, became a part of that group. And actually, I brought that group here because it helped me so much. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to be able to give back. I've always been a person of giving back something mm -hmm. that especially that has helped me. Yes. So and I felt that, you know, a lot of women do not address mm -hmm. our issues, you know, unless someone else bring it up. So why yes. not bring those subjects and topics up that mm -hmm. affect us? Mm -hmm. Right. Without any judgment, mm -hmm. you know, because that's the biggest one. We're afraid. Mm -hmm. to say or do anything because of judgment of others yes right yes so i wanted women to be comfortable mm -hmm. to be able to come in and see what we had to offer and then also i had vendors if you mm -hmm. wanted to be business mm -hmm. that were entrepreneurs right mm -hmm. so there's, if you wanted to know how to be able to go about doing that mm -hmm. so it went very well and i just i loved it yes you know that went on for a while and um I stopped that, but that didn't stop me from doing mm -hmm. my trainings mm -hmm. that I did. So that's how you met me at yes. the NAACP because they wanted me to come in and speak All right. on mm -hmm. how money works, which I talk about a lot of things that affect us, mm -hmm. you know, as a community mm -hmm. um, to be able to get those things that you want, but to go about it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you need to plan. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we don't know how to. Exactly. Right. So this is the things that I talk about mm -hmm. to help us, especially women. Mm -hmm. Yes, especially uh, our topic is women in business, uh, but this is very, very important um, as women to know. Uh, so there we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some great things uh, that you just talked on. Uh, it's a great conversation. I advise you to please go back and replay it and listen to it again. Uh, Katrina just gave us a lot of great information mm -hmm. as far as how to plan, mm -hmm. how to first seek yourself. Mm -hmm. well, uh, that's one thing that you see gotta yourself, do. see yourself, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then you can move forward. Absolutely, with I your always say be true to you. Yes, you know, be true to understand mm -hmm. who you are. Once you do that and decide on what it is that you want for yourself, then you have to set a plan. Mm -hmm. You know about how to go about getting it. Mm -hmm. I love it. Thank I you. was waiting for you to finish. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got some free therapy. Huh? <laughs> Keep going. Look, I was on the couch. <laughs> you stop. Well, sentence. you know that is the that is what it is. You know, and mm -hmm. I I just enjoy inspiring other women. Mm -hmm. We all have our own stories to tell. Yes. You know, but. How do you tell your story if you're not willing to say anything, right? right? And there's mm -hmm. women out here that are looking for the assistance of other women. Yes. You know, and it not to be wanting something from it. Mm -hmm. It is to inspire, empower, mm -hmm. and encourage. Yes. So those are my three E's. I'm saying well, it again. I actually, no. it's not E, but well, I. Well, I can oh, be an E. <laughs> <laughs> Pop in. <laughs> But it is, what did I say? Inspire. Yes. Encourage. Mm -hmm. And what was the third one? Inspire. Empower. Empower. Look, and, right. look, He's Emory already into it, too. <laughs> well, I like that. Emory, tell I'm us always, what you learned. I'm, I'm always open to a good little uh, little um, lectures and whatnot. 
Yes. Uh, I'm just I'm just listening. Just listening. And you yes. know what? It's not just for women. We're talking mm-hmm. about women in yes. business, right? Mm-hmm. But it is for men as well. And sometimes yes. men says, well, what about us? Yes. But it does apply. What about you? I know. <laughs> you know we're here for you, too. Uh, you know? It depends. <laughs> Yeah, but um, after four, we're, we're, t- we're you know we're 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 focusing on women today. Yes, we are yes. right. Yes. Um, but it is it is great information, mm-hmm. and that is the biggest thing that I had pride myself in is mm-hmm. being that resource person. Yes, yeah. you know a lot of times where we make our mistakes are not getting that full information that we need to make better decisions. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm, that's so a good one. with with that's a good that one. being said, that was why I went and got my degree in criminal justice. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Hey. So that from where I come from, <laughs> yes, and, was, and my you, family members, yes. I didn't want to be told. And things mm-hmm. had happened, whereas mm-hmm. they want to tell you anything. Mm-hmm. Where well, anybody can say anything, but doesn't mm-hmm. necessarily mean that that is true. Yes, right. Mm-hmm. So it is important that you do know a little something, something, mm-hmm. in order to navigate your way absolutely. Through what's going on in our life mm-hmm. and society today absolutely right absolutely so that is why mm-hmm. I, you know i have a paralegal degree mm-hmm. behind me as well mm-hmm. so um i just haven't well i put it like this i work it into my business what with my clients and everything mm-hmm. of that nature but mm-hmm. ultimately i am seeking my law degree in yeah. real estate law it's a it's a it's a specialty yes and we all have to have our special needs and that's what i always encourage uh, women don't don't be like the woman next to you be yourself Mm -hmm. you can draw upon inspiration that's right Mm -hmm. you can you can uh sit at the feet of women and get you know mentorship Mm -hmm. but it's always important to be authentic to yourself absolutely well you know i went through that that Mm -hmm. time period of pleasing everybody you know i wanted everybody to like me i wanted everybody to uh see my way you know that my goodness in my heart Mm -hmm. is just for you but i found Mm -hmm. out that not everybody's like that no and not everybody wants to hear or see that you know (laughs) so you know i just learned that to be me i've Mm -hmm. always said that you know everybody should be them Mm -hmm. you should be able to you know if they're going to like you they're going to like you they're going to like you for whoever you is so Mm -hmm. my motto is either you're going to like me or you're not yes you know there's no in-betweens in between that right either you're going to like me Mm -hmm. or not and i'm okay Mm -hmm. with that now Mm -hmm. you know but you have to be comfortable within yourself Mm -hmm. and that is the biggest one a lot of times today with today's society we're not comfortable Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know we want to have be like the next person or Mm -hmm. or do this or do that Mm -hmm. but if you be you and be authentic guess what you will be true to the game as we call it in the streets yes and your business (laughs) is shine yes it will Absolutely. shine because then you gave it a platform Absolutely. to shine on. Absolutely. And that's the that's the key to it. And often a lot of people always ask me about that as well because, um, you know, I've been through mm-hmm. some Same serious, similar, I've been through some serious challenges, mm-hmm. you know, over the past year. Uh, but my thing is, that's my platform. Mm-hmm. And Absolutely. as long as I have my own platform, then I'm able to shine on that Your platform. Yes. And nobody can mm-hmm. take that away from you. Yes. You know, mm-hmm. uh, it, that is something that I always state and encourage to a lot of people is that no one, what is meant for you is mm-hmm. meant for you. What is meant for me is meant for me. So there's mm-hmm. nothing that you could do that can take away what's meant for me. Mm-hmm. There's nothing that I can do that's meant for you mm-hmm. that I could take away. Mm-hmm. So we need to, as women, be encouraging to one another knowing this. Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm excited. <laughs> I, I'm excited. All this makes yeah, sense. Yeah, we got to we gotta wrap up. This is not fair, huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I just want to touch on this real briefly. Mm-hmm. Uh you are going to go back to pursue your law Law degree degree Mm -hmm. in real estate. Right. That's a niche. That is a niche. I love it. Well, you know, um, my niche in real estate Mm -hmm. is basically to help and educate, Mm -hmm. right? To let you know that everything is possible. Mm -hmm. So home ownership for our dreams to come true on that. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people would like to have their own piece of their pie. Yeah. Right. And people that want some more. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. (laughs) 
Yes. Absolutely. You know, right. I just came back mm-hmm. from Kabul mm-hmm. and they Uh-oh, she got to sneak me. that in I there. did have to record that she because they recruited me for those for who are yes. looking for second yes. homes the, or vacation uh-huh. homes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Let's talk about the trip. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Cabo. Let's talk yes, about Cabo. Cabo. You know what? Leave. Cabo. I've been yes. going to Cabo for over ten years. Yeah, cause she, you lit up. You lit <laughs> yeah, up like girl, the whole audience. Was, yeah. You know, it's that vacation time. Yes, you know, let's talk about to, that re- little re- snippet. Just, right, just a little snippet. Recruit. Yes. You know, uh-huh. that's my regroup and re- you know to so get you it went all to together. Cabo. I went to Cabo. I go to mm-hmm. Cabo every other year. That is wow. Mm-hmm. Mm. Absolutely. Uh-huh. And then this year for my daughter thirtieth birthday, mm-hmm. we're going to London. Oh. Okay, oh, that is I'm where jealous. she's a historical uh, historian major. Oh wow! Yeah, so uh-huh. you know historical. I because I'm a historical romance yes, reader. Yes. You mm-hmm. know, I've learned everything about that. But mm-hmm. she, by her being in school mm-hmm. and college for that, so that's where she wants to go. So okay. we're gonna go out and celebrate her birthday in London. That's gonna be awesome. It is gonna be awesome. I am so excited. Thank you for coming. Thank you for asking All right. me. Yes. So we have something coming up special in August. Yes, we uh-huh. are. What day? is that I know, huh? I know. Huh. <laughs> I don't have my phone oh, my phone is right here it's August but, 21st right August 21st yes we're gonna have Mika Coleman mm-hmm. come in and talk about for women in business who want to get business credit yes. it is so important for any credit whether mm-hmm. you're buying real estate mm-hmm. you know you want to get credit cards mm-hmm. you want to get credit for your business mm-hmm. it's always great to know the information mm-hmm. that's going to help you mm-hmm. be able to achieve those they, goals they have and to dreams. come for you that do. seminar we're not going to give that away we're not going to give that away at all it's a lot of information it's a lot of information just know that i myself uh went through the process of of what uh, miss coleman has offered as well Hmm. so you have to come to that it's august 21st go to your facebook page give me your facebook page my facebook page is km1 real estate and uh, I will be posting um, when she's going to be available uh, in, in the location. All right. So you heard it there for yourself. So any you, you dropped a lot of wisdom. Oh, thank you. But is there any t- quick tip, like one thing you would say to a woman that's sitting there that's saying, hey, look, I was out in the streets before. I had to do what I had to do, take care of my kids. Now I'm at the next level where I'm ready to go into entrepreneurship. I'm ready to go into that job. I'm ready to go into that college. What is the advice that you would give them right now? Be persistent. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest one. Be persistent in everything that you want. If all of these things that you're saying that you want, be persistent. You're going to fall down. Everything is not going to always be is going to go the way that you want it to go. Just like you heard Chef Tobias say that this year has been a struggle for her. Right. But she's never gave up. Mm -hmm. So that's the biggest one is be persistent, don't give up. When you feel that everything is not gonna go, that's just saying that the door is getting ready to open for you. So, I, I same thing, you know, I can say the same thing that I've gone through, but I still get up. Mm-hmm. That's the big one. Keep on getting up, keep on moving forward, and your dreams will come true. All right. Okay, did we pass the uh, collection plate? <laughs> I know, <laughs> <huh>? <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much Welcome, for coming on. baby. Thank you. I'm glad you. that you asked All me. All right. Chef Tobias Cooks here with Women in Business Conversation. If you like this conversation, go ahead and lock on to the voice of Stockton.org. Uh, the live will be up right after this. You can replay it again. Please go to uh, Miss Katrina Page. Uh, look up her business. Also look up the workshop that's coming up August 21st for business credit and it's it's up it's for women but we haven't talked men about too. men yeah we men haven't talked too. about You're men welcome too. to men on this one <laughs> yeah right i mean because men do do business as well yes, okay and do. so business credit is for everyone yes. it's not just for women even though we're talking about yeah, women we are okay talking about women right yes, we are. sorry edward you are the minority <laughs> in this room <laughs> Yes, we're talking about being. I'm the odd one out here. Yes, right. Chef Tobias Cooks, Women in Business. Visit me on my Facebook page, Chef Tobias Cooks, on my Instagram page, Chef Tobias Cooks, on my YouTube page, Chef Tobias Cooks. Check us out next week. We have another exciting show talking about women and business. This is going to be a really good show. I'm really excited about. Enjoy your week again. Thank you. Thank you. And everyone, you guys have a beautiful day and week. All right. The voice of Stockton's out or get on like, subscribe, donate and support. Thank you so much.
Da 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 da